What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. You can see I got the Tacoma back there. Haven't made a video on that in a little bit. Need to start making more Tacoma videos for the people who watch this channel for the Tacoma content. But uh, yeah, basically the last video I did was me buying that 2008 John Deere X500, working on it a little bit and reselling it for a profit. It did end up selling after, I think it was seven or eight days of posting online. It sold for $3,000, so it was around $800 profit. So not bad considering all in all, maybe two hours of my time, tops, uh, for 800 bucks. But uh, yeah, I thought I would do just kind of an overview of what I have right now. Um, this X739, that's personal mower. Uh, this, this is my parents' shop. I store some of the mowers here and some of them at my house. But uh, the cars, I'll get into another video. This is my dad's. I don't really do anything with it, but uh, this was my grandpa's car. I'm the only person who really messes with it. Uh, just got it finished up last October, so it's pretty much a full rebuild. It took about five or six years to get it done. But uh, once the weather is getting better now, so I might get it out this weekend, maybe next weekend, but I'll definitely do like a full build overview on that and kind of show pictures of what it, how it looked throughout the years and everything because it's a completely different car. Basically, everything on it's brand new. But uh, yeah, I'm just going to go over what I've got so far to start the season. Um, but yeah, like I said, that's our personal mower that we use on rental properties and then other yards that I mow and everything. But this right here is a 2004 2004 2005 uh, John Deere X485. This um, is basically the cleanest one I've ever seen of these. It's, it's all original. It only has 365 hours, which is absolutely insane. I haven't got time to clean it up yet. But uh, the only issue with it was the gauge cluster panel. It went out for the temperature gauge, so it has an aftermarket temp gauge on it, which I think I'm gonna end up painting this all black to match better, because it being white just doesn't look as good as it could. But uh, yeah, that's really all I'm gonna do that, is just uh, paint that black, and then that'll be good. Bought it for 2,500. That's gonna sell easily for, I'm probably gonna post it for 4,600, and take no less than four grand. And then over here we have an X300, which already put a new seed on it. And then this one has 150 hours, paid 1500 for this. I'm just gonna clean it up. And then uh, basically it's just gonna get uh, posted online and I'm gonna ask 2400 and take no less than 2200. So that all in all, I should make anywhere from I would say six to 700 bucks on that, minimum $500. And this one was 10 minutes from my house. Well, it was about 15 minutes from my house. But uh, yeah, we're just gonna get that cleaned up and posted. But, uh, and then I've got one more tractor up at my parents' house that I'm gonna go grab. And that's the most exciting one. That's gonna be one of the most high profit ones I've had. And then I'm gonna uh, just close the garage door and then get it all, all the pictures ready and then post it on Facebook. But yeah, I'll go run up there, grab that, and then uh, check in when I get that down here. All right, so now I'm back in my parents' garage, and I told you guys I had one more in here. I completely forgot I had this. So this is a X370. Basically, an X370 is pretty much the same thing as the newer X350s, but it has a beefier transmission that is just gonna last longer and can tow more and everything and then it has hydraulics for the deck and snow plow and then uh, power steering this one is worth probably 3500 bucks and basically I agreed on two grand with the guy and when I got there the hydraulics were froze up I couldn't get the deck to come up or anything and I took a chance on it. I told the guy I'm like these hydraulic power steering pumps those valves are really expensive. They're over a thousand bucks to buy the part. I told him, I'm like, I'll take a chance on it. Um, if you do 1500, I'll take it, but I'm not doing it for two grand. And he said, yeah, for 1500, which at the time I thought I was going to be able to get that pump to work. And I thought it was just froze up, maybe some WD-40 
or PB Blaster and pounding on it with a hammer would free it up. I thought maybe rust or debris, like dirt was stuck in there. But it was actually the valve just went bad, which is most likely from not using it. Basically, it was owned by an older gentleman. He left the deck down all the way, and that's just the way he kept it. And uh, it broke, basically. That's all there is to it. But paid 1500 bucks for it. Had to spend $1,200 on that part. And then I got to get a new seat, which is another 120 bucks. So, like I said, paid 1500 bucks, spent 1200 on that part. So now I'm up to 2700 another seat. So I'm going to be at 20, 28, 20 basically uh, for parts and buying it. And I'm going to try to sell it for 35 to 3200 and that's the most i'm gonna get out of it really yeah uh, that it's pretty faded i'll wax it and everything get it cleaned up nice but it's got pretty low hours luckily it's only 213 hours but uh yeah and then the next one is this right here this is a 2022 um john deere 1023e this is a diesel mower so this this is a subcompact tractor it's what these are called. It's not just your typical little lawn tractor. It's got, uh, I think, the three-point hitch in the back. Um, it's got the bucket. It's got a 53-inch. Actually, I think it's a 52. 54, okay. 54-inch drive-over mower deck. Um, but, yeah, this one, it was owned by older people. They bought it brand new, and I think the... The grandfather of who I bought it from, he passed away, so the grandson got it, and he just wanted it gone. Um, it's worth roughly $18,000. It has 18 hours on it, and it still has years. I think it's got like four years left on the warranty, and the warranty for the engine, transmission, all mechanical stuff was like 2,000 hours. So uh, – I'm going to ask 18 grand for it. I'll take 17, but I paid $13,000. So minimum, it needs absolutely nothing. It's got 18 hours on it in these last thousands of hours. So it's got a Yanmar diesel engine, and it's just, they're, they're made to be pretty bulletproof as long as you keep up on maintenance and everything. But uh, yeah, easily four to $5,000 profit on this while doing absolutely nothing. Um, I'm just going to wash it with the hose. The only thing that's wrong with it has a little scratch here. I got John Deere touch-up paint. I'll just use my little paint pen. And that'll make that look a little bit better. It'll still be noticeable, but it's a tractor. It's going to get used. It's going to get a little beat up here and there. But, uh, yeah, here I'll hop on it, fire it up, and then I'll bring it down to the shop, and then we'll get some pictures of everything. shut it off and we'll bring the loader down all right Get this dog toy out of the way so now I'm just gonna close the garage door and just get some pictures of it and then get it posted online close this real quick so yeah, let's just get some pictures. I do need to uh, touch these scratches up. I got paint for that, but I'm just gonna get some pictures right now to get it posted. And this thing's dirty, but in the pictures, it you won't be able to tell. And then we'll get one of the hours on it. 
18.8 hours. Then that's it. Now I'm just going to get it uh, online, post it up, and then uh, we'll see how long it takes to sell. But I don't see this taking all too long. I'd say maybe a couple weeks and it should be good. This kind of looks like it's the fitment's messed up a little bit on there. But that might just be John Deere quality in all honesty. Yeah, that's what I've got so far for uh, the start of this season here in the Midwest. Uh, you know, the grass is just starting to kind of turn green and everything. But uh, yeah, I thought I'd make a quick video kind of showing the inventory of what we got so far. And uh, yeah, I'll get this posted and maybe I'll do some videos working on the other ones and everything. But yeah, and if you guys enjoy watching the videos too, please uh, leave a like, subscribe. I'll be sure to make more. But yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.